Advertising trends in the United States have long had an impact on advertising around the world. In recent years, many American ad campaigns have begun targeting gay and lesbian consumers. Now this pattern is slowly appearing in select Asian circles as well. CNN Stacey Wilkins has a story. Gay advertising is on the upbeat. Commercials featuring the gay lifestyle first hit the mainstream in public service announcements, such as this San Francisco AIDS Foundation spot pushing safe sex. We've been together about three years. I met Steve and my sister's... Swedish furniture maker IKEA is just one of many companies now marketing traditional products to a non-traditional audience, gay consumers. Michael and Stephen, I pronounce it, you're joined together in Cola Union. In this spot, British drink manufacturer Virgin Cola showed the first example of a male kiss in an American television commercial. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, I want you to know I finally found the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Mom and Dad, this is Jen. Hi. Beverage maker Mystic even featured a lesbian Hi. couple in this campaign, which ran on MTV. And the fashion company Diesel takes a bold, if whimsical, approach in this ad. But many companies still won't run gay-specific ads. American fast food outlets have been especially reluctant. Instead, the tendency is to feature two people of the same sex in a situation where their sexuality is implied, but never explicitly stated. This famous Volkswagen spot centers around a couple of guys who may or may not be a couple. Michael Wilkie calls it gay vague advertising. The New York-based ad analyst is working on a documentary that looks at gay, lesbian, and gender-bending themes in mainstream advertising. The project actually takes a look at ads that have a gay theme, but not are actually targeting the gay market. Uh, lots of people sometimes think of these ads as, as appealing to the gay market, but really, television is a broad medium, so it's not about targeting a particular group. Homosexuality is an abomination. The, the gay support group Key Flag takes on anti-gay prejudice in their ads. But the main reason behind the slow growth of gay advertising is more financial than philosophical. The reality is, even if you were targeting a gay audience, it would be uh, wasteful to spend money on an ad for that program because the majority of the audience is still going to be a heterosexual audience and you're you're wasting a lot of your dollars in media if you do that. If you've got a big thirst and you're gay, reach for a cold tub bottle of Schmidt's Gay. But as television programs push the boundaries, the audience is becoming more accustomed to jokes and situations that would be taboo not too long ago. This Saturday Night Live satire of traditional beer ads was a hit with viewers. You two look like you need to get wet. Other shows like Will and Grace and the groundbreaking and now canceled Ellen are also blazing trails that advertisers may follow. Even in tradition-bound Japan, viewers can see spots like this steamy ad for Lucila Vitamins. But as a whole, analysts say the Asian market has been the slowest to market directly to gay consumers. People aren't as tolerant maybe in some of the, some of the Asian countries and, and, and that's reflected um, and that's measured by people in the boardrooms, by internal policies at companies in Asia. And so we haven't seen a lot of campaigns there. <laughs> there are exceptions, notably Australia and Thailand, where this wine cooler ad used cross-dressers to poke fun at sexual stereotypes. The tendency is bound to continue in a world market dominated more by money than worries. Stacey Wilkins, CNN, Atlanta.